Hey YouTube, uh, in my mailbox, right, books, what I've been uh, reading or what I just picked up at the library. Um, I'm going to do a follow-up video with uh, some new developments in book reading in my life, I guess. Uh, but anyhow, these are the books that I picked up from the library last week. Um, the first one is, I've been waiting for this one for a couple, couple months, I think, two months. I don't know when it came out. This is State of Wonder by Ann Patchett. This is about how far I got. Um, I think I gave it quite a while. Um, 124 pages. I cannot get into this. Um, I don't know, the writing maybe? The storyline? Like basically it's about this woman who um, is a research scientist and she sent down to Brazil to track a mentor that she had, like a college professor that she worked with actually. And um, this lady, Dr. Swenson, who's out in Brazil, um, is doing research on this little like tribe of people who um, basically they never stop being able to conceive children. So like all the way up to 70, however long they live, they're having children. Um, they don't go through menopause, I guess. And it never really got into that in the part that I was reading, but one of the, her co-workers who was sent out there um, to kind of track where things were at dies, and so this the main character, Marina, gets sent out there to find out what's going on. And I don't know, it, she's barely gotten there at 124 pages in, and it's like, it keeps doing flashbacks to like her relationship with her father when she was a kid, but nothing's really ever explained. So to me, like there just wasn't enough going on that I could really sink my teeth into. Um, so I don't know. This is by the author of Bel Canto, and she's supposed to be, you know, a best-selling author, but I just I don't like this. So I decided to give up on it and read something I liked better. Um, so this is what I started reading last night, and this is called This Beautiful Life. Um, it's by Helen Schulman. I thought this was young adult, but I don't think it is. I think it's just regular fiction. Um, it's So far, it's pretty interesting. It's about um, this boy. So the Bergamonts are this family, um, the mother and father and the teenage boy, and then they have like a little girl um, who's adopted. And it's based on the idea that the boy, Jake, get some sort of naughty video from a girl at school, I think. Um, some sort of, you know, sexual debauchery. Um, and it goes public. And it's kind of the effect that this whole scandal happens um, when it's gone viral. And so the whole how the family deals with it, how he deals with it. So, so far it's really good. Um, it's only around 200 pages. It's not very long. So I'm kind of curious to see what, you know, what's going to be the main theme or moral of the story or what character changes will develop as it goes along. I liked the title. So, uh, the next one I got, um, this is called Unsaid. I don't know where I heard about this. I think probably in a magazine. Um, it's by Neil Abramson. I'm going to try to start putting books in the, in my pants, in the down bar. Um, <laughs> But uh, this one sounds really good, and I, I, that must be why I put it on my list. But um, it's about a veterinarian uh, who passes away, um, and her husband, and how he's dealing with the grief of losing her and all the pets that she had brought into their house. So she was terrified that her 37 years of life were meaningless, error-ridden, and forgettable. She's haunts, she haunts and is haunted by the life she left behind. And so um, there's supposed to be a focus on this chimpanzee, Cindy. Um, it's her absence from her last project, Cindy, a chimpanzee, who may unlock the mystery of communication and consciousness that may have the greatest impact on all of them. So, um, apparently, the wife is still kind of in the picture, you know, even though she's passed on. The husband's dealing with that, and it, it's, it sounds like it has, like, a really good... Uh, focus on, you know, the meaning of life type of situation and uh, the human condition. So, sounds good. And then the last one I picked up, um, I'm hoping I like this. It sounds really good, but I'm trying not to get my hopes up. Um, this is Sweet Venom, and this is by Tara Lynn Childs. And I think this is interesting because it doesn't really do justice to what it's supposed to be about, but like her hair is kind of twisted down here. So this is supposed to be about the descendants of Medusa, um, who if you don't know your mythology, Medusa was the one who had all the snakes on her head, and if somebody looked at her, they turned to stone. Um, so these are supposed to be her th descendants, and there's three of them, Grace, Gretchen, and Greer. Um, 
and their teenage descendants of Medusa, the once beautiful Gorgon maligned in myth, must reunite and embrace their fates in this unique paranormal world where monsters lurk in plain sight. So they already know about kind of where, I think only one of them, um, only one of them doesn't know who she is and the other two are kind of used to it, like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, they knew they had a calling to fight monsters. Um, so I'm assuming, like I said, these swirls in the hair are supposed to be like the snakes. Um, but it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't seem to really do it justice. But I tried reading her other books. I think I picked up the second one by mistake, Fins Are Forever, which is about mermaids. Um, it was the second book, uh, and I didn't really care for it. I thought the writing was really cheesy. And I read the first page or two of this, and it sounds a lot better. So I hope this one you know, is a little bit better written. It's it's her third book, I guess, so maybe she's done better, or maybe she has a background in mythology, so anyhow, that is what I have picked up. That's what's been in my mailbox, um, or in my library slot, uh, and I am going to talk a little bit about reading books in a new way that I am sort of getting used to. I'm going to go ahead and make another video on that, so let me know what you guys are reading. Um, leave me a comment, let me know. I love seeing what you guys are reading. And uh, I think I'm starting to get better about taking suggestions. Um, and if you like book videos, then subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks.